when we think about the season of Lent, Ash Wednesday, a couple things I think jump immediately to our minds. Ideas of penance, focusing on the Lord's cross and his death prior to the resurrection. Think about our sinfulness and the ways us down and how we need to be, to be regenerated and renewed and refreshed. All of these things, the sacrifices, the sufferings. But I don't think, ultimately, that's what Lent is about. Lent is not about how much penance can I do, how much sacrifice uh, must be endured, how much suffering do we need to go through for redemption. Even focusing, as important as it is, on the passion and death of Jesus, that ultimately, I think what Lent is about it's not about what we're giving up. And how many times do we ask that question or get asked that question during Lent? So, so what are you giving up for Lent? I don't know if that's always the best question to ask. First of all, it's none of your business what I'm giving up for Lent to battle my own demons. And, and secondly, um, I think there's a more important thing in that, other than what we're cutting out. The more important thing is what motivates all of it. The why question. Why are you doing what you're doing in Lent? Why are you here this evening? Why are we embarking upon this season? Why? And I think the thing that underlies it all is charity. It's God's love. And this seems like a simple answer, but it really is very profound. I don't think we yet grasp and realize just how much we rely on God's love. How much God's love has changed our lives, has created our very lives. That God's love is everything. And our participation in that love is what makes this season meaningful. We know those great disciplines, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. And time and time again throughout the Old Testament, the New Testament, and even on the words of Jesus himself, his own lips, he often talks about the power of almsgiving. And almsgiving is not just opening our wallet and, and giving charity. It's not just donating things to a, a soup kitchen or to a, a clothing drive. That almsgiving is really opening up the heart. How is my heart open? Because when my heart is open and God's love flows through that, you can think of it almost as a very powerful, powerful sort of cleansing out of the sinful cholesterol. The speedier that blood flows through, the more it breaks down everything that doesn't belong. The more and more that love flows through us, the more and more sin is purged and washed away. Multitudes of sin were washed away in Jesus' great act of charity. The great act of love on the cross that we didn't deserve. That was total charity. That was almsgiving personified. So as we go into this Lenten season, I think that the most important thing for all of us to do is to focus on our love. How can I grow in love. How are my relationships doing? Where are those friendships that are failing? Where are those, those people in my life that I have trouble with or that I have hurt or have hurt me or whatever? How is my love to be perfected? And the more we're able to love and to love deeply, the more we're able to know then what this season is about. And then, as we cut those other things out of our lives, the things maybe that we give up, or the, the other things that we're going to do during Lent, then those things take on a whole new meaning, because they are inspired by the love of God. And I just want to look more like Jesus for those people that I encounter. So coming here tonight, we are essentially saying, the old self needs to die, so that a new self can come into being. When the ashes are placed upon our foreheads, we will hear one of two formulas. 
Remember, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. That this old self is dying, and that's okay, because a new self is coming to life. Or, repent and believe in the gospel. Turn from that old way and believe in that new way. As we hear these words tonight, we know that underneath both of them, God's love is implanted. We come to be reborn after we die with Christ on the cross. His love is what Lent is really all about. <laughs>